A pub is an establishment licensed to serve alcoholic drinks for consumption on the premises. The term public house first appeared in the late 17th century and was used to differentiate private houses from those which were, quite literally, open to the public as ale houses, taverns, and inns. By Georgian times it had become common parlance, although taverns, as a distinct establishment, had largely ceased to exist by the beginning of the 19th century. Today, pubs have no strict definition. But Camera states a pub has four characteristics. The history of pubs can be traced to Roman taverns in Britain and through Anglo-Saxon alehouses. But it was not until the early 19th century that pubs, as we know them today, first began to appear. The model also became popular in countries and regions of British influence, where pubs are often still considered to be an important aspect of their culture. In many places, especially in villages, pubs are the focal point of local communities. In his 17th century diary, Samuel Pepys described the pub as the heart of England. Although the drinks traditionally served include draft beer and cider, most also sell wine, spirits, coffee, and soft drinks. Many also offer meals and snacks. A license is required to operate a pub and the licensee is known as the landlord or landlady. Or the publican, often colloquially referred to as their local, by regulars. Pubs are typically chosen for their proximity to home or work, good food, social atmosphere, the presence of friends and acquaintances, and the availability of pub games such as darts or snooker. Pubs often screen sporting events, such as rugby and football. The pub quiz was established in the UK in the 1970s. Ale was a native British drink before the arrival of the Roman Empire in the 1st century. But it was with the construction of the Roman road network that the first pubs, called Tabernae, began to appear. The word eventually became corrupted into tavern. After the departure of Roman authority in the 5th century and the fall of the Romano-British kingdoms, the Anglo-Saxons established alehouses that may have grown out of domestic dwellings. First attested in the 10th century. These alehouses quickly evolved into meeting houses for folk to socially congregate, gossip and arrange mutual help within their communities. The Wantage Law Code of Ethel Raid the Unready prescribes fines for breaching the peace at meetings held in alehouses. A traveller in the early Middle Ages could obtain overnight accommodation in monasteries. But later a demand for hostelries grew with the popularity of pilgrimages and travel. The hostelers of London were granted guild status in 1446 and in 1514 the guild became the worshipful company of inholders. A survey in 1577 of drinking establishment in England and Wales for taxation purposes recorded 14,202 alehouses, 1,631 inns, and 329 taverns, representing one pub for every 187 people. Inns are buildings where travellers can seek lodging and, usually, food and drink. They are typically located in the country or along a highway. In Europe, they possibly first sprang up when the Romans built a system of roads two millennia ago. Some inns in Europe are several centuries old. In addition to providing for the needs of travellers, inns traditionally acted as community gathering places. In Europe, it is the provision of accommodation. If anything, that now distinguishes inns from taverns, alehouses and pubs. The latter tend to provide alcohol, but less commonly accommodation. Inns tend to be older and grander establishments. Historically they provided not only food and lodging, but also stabling and fodder for the traveller's horse and on some roads fresh horses for the mail. Coach. Famous London inns include the George, Southwark and the Tabard. There is, however, no longer a formal distinction between an inn and other kinds of establishment. Many pubs use inn in their name, either because they are long-established former coaching inns, or to summon up a particular kind of image, or in many cases simply as a pun on the word inn. As in the welcome inn, the name of many pubs in Scotland, the original services of an inn are now also available at other establishments, such as hotels, lodges, and motels which focus more on lodging customers than on other services, although they usually provide meals, 
pubs, which are primarily alcohol-serving establishments, and restaurants and taverns, which serve food and drink. In North America, the lodging aspect of the word, in, lives on in hotel brand names like Holiday Inn. And in some state laws that refer to lodging operators as innkeepers. The Inns of Court and Inns of Chancery in London started as ordinary inns where barristers met to do business, but became institutions of the legal profession in England and Wales. It was not until the 19th century that pubs as we know them today first began to appear. Before this time alehouses were largely indistinguished.